In Harlem, Floyd's family hosted a memorial in his honor. CBS 2's Alicia Reed spoke with his brother about the continued push for change. I am rich because of what the Lord has done. People made their way to Convent Avenue Baptist Church to sing, pray, comfort each other, and honor George Floyd. George Floyd's life belonged to him and his family, but his legacy belongs to the people. Floyd was an unarmed black man murdered by former police officer Derek Chauvin in 2020. Nationwide protests ensued during the height of the pandemic, calling for police reform and accountability. It's definitely been some accountability, but it has to be accountability, accountability all across the board, not just when you feel it's necessary. Terrence Floyd says there was a sense of justice when Chauvin was sentenced to 21 years in federal prison, but there's a need for continued change and more training. Just the third year, but not only are we remembering my brother, but now we're remembering Tyree Nichols. We remember Jordan Neely. We remember, we're remembering all these people that died since, with a senseless death. Concerned Harlem resident Sandy Alexis felt it important to bring her seven-year-old son Storm and one-year-old daughter Sword Lily to the night's memorial. The violence is traumatic, and especially when you have a young black man. So it's it's something that you, you know it's like seeing their future, and that's never the future you want for your kid. When my son grows up, he has the chance of being a George Floyd. He has the chance of being an Eric Gardner. He has a chance of being a Trayvon Martin. There were a number of events honoring George Floyd and raising awareness today, including one at City Hall and Washington Square Park. In Harlem, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. So where do we stand three years later after all those calls for change? Well, President Biden last year signed an executive order banning chokeholds and restricting no-knock warrants, but there's still been no legislative action. Some supporters are still calling for changing certain qualified immunity protections for law enforcement. And in the city, anti-crime units said Mayor de Blasio promised to disband due to their use of force. Uh, rather, their use of stop and uh, frisk were restored by Mayor Adams. They are now known as neighborhood safety teams.